On today's episode, I'm going to show you not four, not five, but six pedals that I wish I'd created. First up on the list of pedals that I wish I had created is the Boss VB2 Vibrato. This was released in 1982. I don't think it really caught on or did that well, but it is genius and fantastic. This is to simulate the movement of pitch vibrato. So the bending of a tremolo vibrato arm, that kind of thing where you hit a note and it goes up or down a few cents. It has different settings latch bypass you can do different kinds of things here where you actually instead of turning it on and walking away you can actually hold it down so it ramps into a vibrato sound it's awesome and it's much different as a modulation than the ce2 which was out at the time and very popular so chorus is vibrato but your clean signal in that as well and that gives you that glassy tone whereas this is pure effect no dry signal so all you hear is the the actual vibrato modulation going on i like to put these in subtle settings with a slow speed and kind of a minimal depth leave it on all the time it's very 3d i've played gigs where i just leave this on people don't even know that it's on but it just sounds really great and it adds a texture these are very expensive because they didn't make them for long but they did re-release this in the Wazacraft line and it's fantastic and actually has an extra mode. So I highly recommend this, or if you're a collector, good luck finding one of these. I'm just gonna demo it and let me know what you think. Next up is the Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master. Jamie, if you're watching this, you know I'm a fan. I just want you to know that I have secretly always wished I had done this. And in doing so, maybe I could have been a better friend. Maybe it's been holding us back, you know. I need to let it go and just admit that you did this. I'm doing that right now. I love this pedal. It's a beautiful ambient reverb delay. The reverb sound in here is fantastic. It's like a big mystical hall thing that's not too crazy. Like it's dark around the edges. It feels natural, but it feels unnatural. You perfectly walk the line of crazy big reverb, Jamie. And I'm not jealous anymore. I'm happy for you. And the delay, it's just a great delay. I've moved on. I no longer feel bad that I didn't do this. I just wish I had. Next is a pedal that I not only wished I'd come up with, it's one that I'll probably take to my grave. In my wheel, it actually says to place several versions of this pedal, you know, in the casket with me. It's not weird at all. People have done it before. It is the Rat, and it's just so good. You know, this guy, Scott Burnham in Kalamazoo, Michigan, he drops this thing like 78, 79, changes the world. I, it, it's genius. It's an amazing overdrive distortion and fuzz pedal. And I don't, you know, I don't believe in weird conspiracy theories. You guys know me. I've never, never really dove into that. But isn't it weird that this was invented in Kalamazoo and the first pedal ever, the Maestro Fuzz Tone in 62, was made in Kalamazoo? Is that weird? 
that two things were made in one city, I, I don't know. I don't know if we can overlook this coincidence, you know. Maybe aliens were involved. Maybe Kalamazoo's some hub of alien activity because also Gibson's there. Uh, we're going to move on and just know this is a great pedal, and I want you to just hold on to that theory. And if you're from Kalamazoo, you could, in the comments, maybe talk about how aliens run your city. I don't know. Next up is a pedal I've used on my personal board now for years and years. It's still on the board. I mean, it's still hanging on. Definitely wish I was smart enough to have created the Eventide H9 Harmonizer effects processor. This is essentially a genius level guitar effect computer that sets at your feet. It's unreal and it does so many sounds. I could do an entire three and a half to five and a half hour video on it. Don't want to do that today because we're all in a hurry. It's awesome. I'm just going to go through some settings. A Pink Floyd sounding thing. I'm going to do like the shimmery reverb thing. I'm going to do a choppy tremolo. And I'm going to do like a crazy octave distortion just to prove that digital distortion can sound good. And once I've made that point, we'll move on to the next one. Almost finished here, but got a couple more. This one's a real fun one because it is the Univox Super Fuzz. Uh, it started as this giant, crazy thing called a psychedelic machine when some engineers that were at a company in Japan called Tysco actually left Tysco and they're like, hey, let's go do our own thing. And they released it as the Honey Crying Baby. Actually, Baby Crying says there on the back. And then you see Honey evolved into a company called Shinai, and Shinai made stuff for everyone. So they put Univox name on it or Shaftsbury. It's all the same pedal. So we've got a few versions of it here. The Honey one is a very amazing, faithful reproduction of that very first 1967-68 Honey edition. And you can buy this right now at Shinai.com. I'm going to play it because it's baller. I think it looks the best. I love the Honey logo. They even do all the crazy stuff, like the original stamp he reproduced, the battery connector. And they even went as far as to misspell the things misspelt on the original unit, like connect the battery to the batter snap. He left that. That's attention to detail. Yeah, let's play it.
For the last pedal that I wished I had created, I'm cheating. It's technically three pedals, but the three pedals are one pedal. It all starts in 1985 when Ibanez releases the Digital Modulation Delay. This is from the L series. The L series doesn't do that well, so the Digital Modulation Delay is moved to the Power slash 10 series as the Modulation Delay 2 DML 10, but then they drop a Modulation 3 DML 20. These are all made by Maxon. They're fantastic. They just look good. They're all essentially the same pedal, some slightly different things going on there. So for the sixth pedal, I wish I had created these three pedals, all three of them. I wish I was the guy that woke up in the morning and said, I did this, but I didn't do this. So I'm just gonna play it and be a little bit sad about it. Today's record time is brought to you by 2019's Deceiver by the band Dive. That's D-I-I-V. That might confuse some people. It confused me at first, and that's okay. This album is fantastic. Think about combining Starflyer, Not a Surf. What do you think, Nick? Are there any other bands? It's like Slow Dive without the Slow. Slow Dive without the Slow. It's like Fast Dive. Yeah. Dive, D-I-I-V, the album's Deceiver. Yeah, it's ultimate put it on, play the whole record and be glad you did. Check it out. And in the comments, let me know what you think. And let me know what you know about this band because I'm pretty sure I'm brand new to them. I'm a noob. I'm okay with that. I'm secure. So teach me. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite pedal is that I wish I had created. I know that puts a lot of pressure on you to compartmentalize and rate the system that I already rated for myself, but I really need you to tell me what I actually really should have created. You can do that with your own vote. I hope I confused you. If I did hit like, if you liked the episode and I confused you, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get notifications of future episodes. Also check out the Patreon page. We've thrown on some new exclusive talks on there. There's gonna be more giveaways. We just gave away a guitar. We gave away something else, like a house. Was it a houseboat or yes. something? Yeah, houseboat, uh, vacation to Mars. We did that. There's also thejhshow.com for shirts and other things you don't really need, but you want, and because you want them, you need them. So do that. Have a wonderful day, and you think about what you wished you had done with your life, just like I did today. Bye.